I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, another sketchbook, Ewan. Really? Another, another fucking sketchbook? How many of those do you go through? A lot. I'm incredibly prolific. Um, I go through so many sketchbooks. I don't know what to do with myself and or them. I've got so many. I've got piles and piles. I've, I've, I've put them all into landfill. I'm ruining the environment by going through so many gosh heck sketchbooks. This one's titled Shit and Nonsense, because that's what it is. It's a whole bunch of shit and nonsense, which is really everything I do. They don't call me the shit and nonsense kid for nothing. Hey, there goes Ewan, Mr. Shit and Nonsense, man about town. I like to say nonsense as opposed to nonsense. I don't like to um, pr uh, pr properly over-enunciate the ents. Nonsense. No, 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 that just sounds correct, doesn't it? Nonsense? Nonsense. Yeah, no, saying nonsense would be weird. Nobody does that. Hey, that's a zombie. Um, I was going to do this whole thing of, uh, of, uh, of uh, in this sketchbook, have it be all like decay, at least for the first bunch of pages. Decay and zombies and death and stuff. Um, I got one page in with that. Um, this is uh, Lobster Robin. I met Lobster Robin um, during my time of this sketchbook at some point. Um, see, because then I drew in an older sketchbook, so he, he drew this. Uh, this pink chicken or rooster and then I drew one um, another uh, also a pink rooster and then so they were like facing each other because uh, we were it was like we were comparing our cocks <laughs> get it because a, 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 a male chicken is called a cock um, and so I when I went to meet him I taped this sticker into my sketchbook so I could have him sign his cock for me it's got his name printed on it but I got him to actually sign it, so he signed his his cock. <laughs> That's also a penis. Um, I like the zombie. You know, nice bit, nice, nice, nice bit of ballpoint pen artwork to open the sketchbook with. Some nice hatching and shit, and then ruined on the very next. Bit. Well, not ruined, but it's just if you open a, a sketchbook and it's that, and it's like, oh wow, it's so cool, and then you turn the page and it's that, you're like, oh, well. A bit less impressive but this was anatomy we were doing anatomical studies specifically of this like back bit where I, i've done whole videos about it but where like the, this these back muscles go into the front muscles around around the side as you rot rotate the body um that's something i sort of needed to work on because i whenever i draw a body and i get to this bit i'm always unsure of like does does this come down like this way or does it go down and then the, and how many of these rib muscle bits and so I picked up this anatomy book quite by surprise that I found it in a store it was really really good and I drew a bunch of, yeah you get it look all the anatomy wow that's so and then I did a whole bunch of gun vi I had this idea for a zine it would be really cool to have like on on the left page have a uh, a bit from the Gun Viking comic, just you know, blown up or, or whatever. And then on the other side, have a drawing of the same <laughs> picture of Gun Viking. Excuse me, that was a bit rude, wasn't it? Gosh, don't do that, Ewan. Have some manners, have some fucking decorum when you're making your videos, you prick. Um, so you have the Gun Viking on the left, and then on the right hand side of the page of this zine, you have the same picture of Gun Viking, but drawn muscles like this. So it's like a an, an anatomical uh, stripping away of the skin and, and viewing the uh, the musculature and anatomy of gun viking. And so I did a few drawings of, of that sort of thing. I really, really like this one. Really happy with that. It might be one of my favourite drawings in the whole sketchbook. It might not be, but it might be. Did this one as well. Um, the uh, the anatomy book I had had a bunch of drawings of anatomy in all these different colours. So I tried to sort of emulate that with a gun viking. See, when he gets his arms cut off, all oh, spoilers if you've not read it. He gets his hands chopped off at one point. Do they come back? <laughs> yeah, they do. That's that. There's more anatomy of gun... Because with the Gatling gun, look, his, his dick and balls. He's got to put his dick and balls in there. You can't, can't have gun viking without his clothes and without his skin and no dick and balls. So we've got the plenty dick and balls. I really like this one because this is back to, um, I don't know, when you first start drawing muscles, you realise if you use a red ballpoint pen and you do these sorts of like hairy strokes, you can get really cool like muscle effect. 
on the sinew and everything of, of the strands of muscles. <laughs> That's me with big tits in a bikini with a gun. Wow. That was the cover of a previous sketch, but you probably saw it because, you know, I put them all out there. There's another gun viking, just whatever. There's a moose shot. It's called Moose. It's like Jaws, but instead of Jaws, he just moves. He comes up to you and goes, No, that doesn't work. I was just gonna try to do like the da 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 But it's mooing, but it doesn't work. That's someone. She's right. She's an artist. She's good. Death fist. Death fist. Some drawings of death fist. He's you know. Cool. These, they're cool. For some reason, when I first... Because I've done a whole bunch of drawings of, of uh, anatomy with, like, straight angles in them. So I quite like this straight line of their bodies, like, pressing together. For some reason, I thought it would look better with, like, a, 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 a white stripe down the middle. And then I scanned it in and realised it didn't. So I photoshopped, squished them together. And it looks much better squished them together. So you live and learn. That's what sketchbooks are for, isn't it? It's for doing amazing, cool drawings. And then realising... Nah, that doesn't really work. Some Nurgle Chaos Space Marines. Those are fun. I think I, I mentioned elsewhere how I think this was better about halfway through it being done. When I hadn't added quite as much stuff and detail and texture and whatever onto it. When it was a little bit less, I don't know, oversaturated with stuff. It looked a bit better. And here, I, I think the full image of this is a bit busy. It's good. It's, I'm, I'm happy with it overall. Uh, I just think it, it was a little bit better if I... If I but that's one, another one of those things with art. You've got to sort of like... Sometimes you don't know when to stop doing the art. And then you realise a few steps ago it might have been better to stop. But you carried on because you're a fat, silly idiot. That's cool. Two the size of his gun. Across the pit. Chaos That's the sound of a gun, not the sound of a fart. More angles, angular, angle tits. Nice hangy, hangy, pointy tits with not swollen, but like puffy nipples. We like those. I like this this crease, this like crease here. It's full. That's nice. Tan lines are good as well. Another one. That's an old friend of mine. We like those. Are the unicorn? Oh, he's, he's enjoying himself, having a look, isn't he? Old old Jason face. <laughs> uh, I thought that'd be a funny idea for knuckle tattoos. Yeah, P E N I, and then S S S S S S penis across your. So oh, I thought it'd be funny. Hey, rubbish man! My character design idea. He's, he's like a superhero. He just wears a rubbish bag and he's got a face. And, uh, it's brilliant. Really, really, really funny. There's another one. His arm's too short here. But uh, I don't know. it's a funny idea. But like, I might, you know, I think because Death Fist came out of just a random idea during a podcast. And I was like, oh, what if I made a comic of that? And now I'm making a comic of that. Um, something like this, I don't think would go that far. I'd maybe get like a two or three page strip with like one overall joke or gag to that that very very short story um and that'd be it i don't think i've got it in me to do a whole comic of this guy i don't think he's got it in him to be you know to fill out an entire book of a comic that's cool too with straight line with the body and the, and the hair and the thing oh wow i love your shady you and you're so good at all this was for I think this was going to be for a draw this in your style thing for draw uh, a po any Pokemon as a, as like a robot. So I was going to draw this big like mech uh, Magneton Magnemite Magneton mech thing. I liked this, but then I was going to redraw it like better or like in a way that I would prefer it to be. Uh, I wasn't unhappy or displeased with this i do like this as a drawing but i think you know, it could be better but then you know i got busy doing other shit and uh didn't didn't end up <laughs> doing the the thing death fist fist of death he's death fisty fist <laughs> this was designed for the cover the original cover um oh i do have it yeah is that a copy of oh fuck yeah 
So this is uh, look, this. So this was a rough. Yeah, this rough. This, look, I stuck the paper on the paper. So it's a page within a page. Wow, meta kind of. Um, I, I've I've done this before, but I'll, I'll do it again now because uh, people would say like, oh, it's like sketchbookception, like Inception, but it should be like sketchbook regression because that's the Inception is putting like a seed into a thing like the inception it's the beginning the creation of an idea that's where the inception comes from not a thing within a thing within a thing within a thing i know that's the thing from the film so you can say it's based on the film but that's it's called regression when you have like a thing within a thing within a thing anyway that and then i painted it and it, wow look at the thing i wanted them to be in like an alleyway so there's like garbage bag and boxes and stuff but i was just unhappy with this overall um largely i think because of the poncho i really really need to work on the poncho it needs to be more puffy and flowy when he's jumping and it's here it's like too angular and stuff um so overall i was a bit unhappy with that and then obviously i changed it and so this is the the printed version and i think this is a bit more sort of like dare i say punchy and dynamic with the big almost like a penis isn't it? the way it's coming out of his body this big fist with the and he's kind of in an alleyway but i don't know if that really shows on the cover um but i was i was much happier with the the final version of that and that was just a drawing for fun but for you know peter puppy from earthworm jim yeah i drew this one and painted it first uh, and then i thought hey what if because i've i googled peter puppy and then i saw where they have like the sprites that they use in the game um where you can find sheets of them of the sprites of the different like forms of animation like each step of animation um and i saw that one amongst them and i was like that's cool i'll draw that and it goes along with my one big arm crew uh which i still would like to do something with but uh, fucking you know on top of the billion other things i'd like to do something with including your mum I'd like to bake a pie with her. It'd be really... Or a cake. I don't know. Pies are a bit of an American thing, maybe. I don't know. I eat pie. I eat your mum's. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Um, and then I did this one, and I thought that was cool. And then I thought, hey, what if I did a whole fucking like, little series? So I went back, and then I did little drawings of different... The animations of fucking... Wouldn't it be cool if I did the entire animation? Like, um, I think if I took each of these, and there's a couple more, and then did, like, maybe another at least one or two in between um what would you call them frames i guess between each one that would make like a solid fairly solid animation of the whole transformation that could be quite cool but i can't be fucked so <laughs> give a shit i have yellow yokel that's a, a, a i was gonna say a cave it's not it's a volcano in iceland from MF Doom song. Dead Man's Asshole. That's the whole thing. Oh, you've got to watch the, the podcast episode. It's a whole funny thing. Soul Reaver. Um, as, 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 as real, as Raziel. I think his name's Raziel. I think I was calling him Asriel, which is like a biblical name, but I think his name's actually Raziel. I think. I don't know. Soul Reaver. You know, I would show you the painting that did eventually come from this, but I've sent it to the person that commissioned it. So you can't see it, cunts. It's on my Instagram. Go look at Insta Instagram. Uh, you and again, E W A N A G A I N. You win again. Uh, flesh bob. I don't like that flesh bob. I think his eyes are too small. Um, but you can see he's like chopping someone with an axe, and his the hands like, oh no, please don't. Uh, and he doesn't care. He's gonna chop him up anyway. Fuck you. More of the. So he goes from and and uh, uh, yeah. Oh no, and no, he's big nasty evil dog and he's gonna tear you apart, Jim. Run away, Jim. I watched Across the Spider-Verse and so naturally I had to do my own like spider sonar drawings. So I did them with big tits. We all love big tits. Big big juicy spider person with big juicy spider tits. Thwip. That was based on a drawing of a friend, so that I just threw that in there. Because I did think, well, you could pretty pretty much take any nude and put a spider mask on it, and it would make quite a cool like spider sona piece of nude artwork, kind of. Um, and then I think this Spider Man nipple covers a pretty good touch as well. If I do something, <laughs> I like the flesh here. These were this was all done out of my head. Uh, by now, I guess I've done enough like naked body drawings that I can 
make them look good out of my brain. Jims, Jim Jiminy's. Um, the painting of that one sold, so I can't. Uh, obviously, everything sells because I'm so good. It's almost irritating. Like sometimes I like to do good, good, like more finished drawings in my sketchbook, like these. Um, and you know, there's like some of the yeah, paintings like this and the, the nude drawings from earlier, things like this. But then the issue is this sketchbook will get thrown into a pile of sketchbooks. And if I ever want to like get these drawings to scan them or reference them for something, I have to fucking comb through pages and pages and pages of old sketchbooks to try, try and find the things. Um, I don't really know what the solution is to that other than tear them out and put them somewhere. But then I'm going to have to look through somewhere else. For... No, that's quite cool, isn't it? Like, he's Jim and Jim and Jim and he's all stuck in there and the page on the page. Akira. The little little boy Akira. This is That was the rough drawing from my very recent Joker painting I stuck in there. Um, it was the rough drawing that I then traced for the actual paint, which is here. Wow! I really like this one. I was really, really happy with it. Um, I did. I planned to render in at least some of the hair, like so at least like some highlights here and here. And then by the time I was like getting towards that point, I, I was thinking, no, I quite like it not rendered, so I'm gonna fucking leave it. I like the red sort of like glow on the sign and the look in his eyes. Eyes oh, far. Um, I was quite happy with the gloves. Not incredibly happy, but quite happy with the gloves. But yeah, I really like that piece overall. So that's going to be on its way to... Uh, that was a commission for somebody. So let's tear it up. No, I won't. Um, not this time, anyway. Uh, yeah, that was the, the rough that I traced over, so I cut it out, stuck it in here, and just added some colour, just to, so it looks nice in the sketchbook. Let's, Akira, these, I was part of an Akira group show, and I was doing a bunch of Akira drawings, so there's Tetsuo doing thing. It was part of my Noughts and Crosses game, and I'd be shooting through the Noughts and Crosses board, blowing the O apart with his big, uh, big gun. Oh. oh, big men with big guns. Oh, big penises. Oh. Flesh, Bob, Flesh, Bob. Uh, he lives under the sea. Flesh, Bob, Flesh, Bob. What do your fleshy eyes see? I see a head on a pitchfork, blood all over the floor. Flesh, Bob, flesh, Bob, come and play with me. That's the flesh, Bob theme, Jim. It's a bit different from the SpongeBob because he's not SpongeBob. He's flesh. Um, he's got a bit of, of, of popularity recently with the, the my reel blowing up on Instagram somehow. Well, I know why. It's because Instagram's fucking stupid with its algorithms and what. I really like this drawing. I, I really like the shapes and, and I see his eyes. I got his eyes better. The big, bigger. He needs his eyes need to be big and bulbous and angry and fucking whatever. And he's got his uh, pitchfork through the guy's face, through his nostrils and his eyes. Ready? <laughs> Dead fist. Do 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 do. That was the rough for the thing. That's the one I actually traced and then painted over and then it became that. I don't know where the actual painting is for the. Um, for the final cover. It's got to be a summer, isn't it? Or not. Fuck knows. I guess I just lost that one. <laughs> uh, when you create so much art, you just fucking lose it. Uh, these are just stuck in because I like them. I thought they, they were nice companion pieces to the other sketches in here. Rough sketches of the possible cover and little... See, because I made... I did in the, in the thing, see, because there's like a... This is a, a human skull replica that I have, um, and I took a photo of it, and then I Google imaged hat and ear, and so I, I badly, on purpose, photoshopped them together as like a, a mock-up sort of photo reference for a Death Fist head, and then I drew it, but like as Death Fist, because he's got an ear for some reason, and these were a couple of rough doodles of that. And then other Death Fist stuff. Ah, oh, see, because I met Lobster Robin. He was really, really cool. Uh, which is good, because sometimes you meet people and their penises. So you meet people and their T-H-E-I-R penises. And you say, oh, hello, nice to meet you, penis. And you shake it by the it. But I was going to say shake its hand, but you just shake it. You grab its head and go, oh. I didn't do that with Robin, but I could have. I'm sure, nah, mm, 
No, I don't know if he'd be into that. But I... so I drew in his sketchbook. He drew my. I, I drew a thing and I said, "Love you, Robin." And he drew this and said, "Love you more, you." And he probably does love me more than I love him. But you know, that's that's okay. <laughs> I only joke. Let's come on now. Hey, that's the guy from Bomb Rush Cyberface. Have you played Bomb Rush Cyberface? Really good. If you're a fan of Jet Set Radio and especially Jet Set Radio Future, which seems to be in most of the like because I've watched a bunch of videos reviews and stuff of Bomb Rush Cyberfunk and most of them reference Jet Set Radio but not Jet Set Radio Future so they clearly don't have that like they obviously just haven't played Jet Set Radio Future they just know oh this new game's based on Jet Set Radio but if you if you have played Jet Set Radio Future and liked it and played Bomb Rush Cyberfunk you know <laughs> Bomb Rush Cyberfunk is almost like straight copying uh Jet Set Radio Future in a good way, in very, very good way. I did a whole podcast episode about it. Um, I, and this was what I did in... The, see, because I'm starting another sketch. See, with Lobster Robin. I'm starting another sketchbook because this one's finished. And within this newer sketchbook is... So, I do... Uh, wow! It's really, really cool with the robot head and a... Uh, yeah, really, 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 really fun game. But it's like it, it got copies uh, Jet Set Ready Future but adds to it. It, it it copies it in a bunch of ways but then it adds and builds on top of uh, Jet Set Radio Future it's, just, it's not just like I may as well be playing Jet Set Radio Future it does feel like a new full game of its own which is good The Red Gobbo from Gorka Morka from Warhammer from Games Workshop from Space oh literally from Space because they all fell from Space onto the planet and then they Gorka Morka'd it all up he was one of my favourite little characters and models from the game. Uh, I thought it about time that I draw him. I think I saw an image of him online and I was like, fuck, I should. I draw goblins. I draw them all the fucking time. I love them. I have big goblin orgies whenever I can. And uh, yeah, I think I might have to do like a really decent painting, like him in the desert, maybe with some other goblins around him. Maybe like doing goblin work around him like lifting and pulling crates and like fixing guns and shit just around him while he's just there being cool and probably communist look at this communist iconography red and the star on a thing and a snot hanging out his nose commie fucking commie i like communists they're cool earthworm jim he's such a groovy guy earthworm stim stim I was about to say Sky, and then I said Jim, and I turned it into Stim. I don't know. I've had taken lots of caffeine pills, so I'm going. Uh, these were just stuck in. Again, I, I, sometimes I do. I stick stuff into my sketchbook to have stuff in my sketchbook. But again, to collect it somewhere so it is somewhere and not just floating around the ether that is my, my studio, <laughs> which is the corner of my bedroom. Uh, because you know, I can't afford a fucking studio. And in this economy... Cost of living crisis. Come on now. Uh, these I was I drew this. I think I drew both of these in a live stream on Instagram. You should catch me on there sometimes. I don't do them regularly, but I'm hoping to. We'll we'll see how that goes. But I was trying to draw like a heroic, a heroic Jim because somebody commissioned me to paint a picture of a, a big heroic Jim. So I thought I have him riding a cow. See, because you've got like Death Dealer. He, maybe he's like a, a villain or an anti-hero, but you know the Frank Frazetta famous Death Dealer, and he's on the horse and he looks bold and heroic even if he's not necessarily heroic by the strictest sense of the word um so i figured jim riding a mount in this case a cow because there's cows in earthworm too it makes sense you get it um that would make him look big and heroic so i was doing i thought i'd give him a big sword and he'll look heroic and he, he does he looks heroic but then for the final painting which i have not yet sent off so i can show you now is is here um i was really really fucking happy with this uh this came out it's very rare that a painting comes out exactly as I want it to, to the point where I'm like, yeah, I'm really happy with this painting. Um, this didn't necessarily come out 100% how I had planned, but it, it surpassed my expectations in how much I expected to like it. I, like this, I think it's something about the colours and like the lighting and stuff. I really am really, really happy with this painting, and I am sad that I have to now send it to the fucking person that bought it. Or commissioned me, paint, paid me to actually paint the thing. Um, but I figured, what's more heroic than saving a bitch? So he's he's got the uh, princess, what's her name, uh, which I think is actually her name. So uh, on on his 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 steed, his bug-eyed cow, 
Um, but yeah, I really like the, the colours of the background as well. The purple and the turquoise go well together. And then like the, the slight glow underneath and the, the rim lighting here and the fleshiness of the worm. And the, the colours in her sort of like uh, complement and, and contrast and stuff. Um, yeah, I was just really, really happy with that piece overall. So that's that's what came of my silly little heroic gym drawings. Uh, a really, really fucking cool painting. One of the bigger ones as well. I don't normally paint this scale. I normally paint like this. So uh, that's fucking cool. And, oh, I can show you actually while it's right here. This was gonna be like a heroic gym piece, but uh, I figure I'm gonna use it I'm gonna still paint it and just someone else has already has also commissioned me to do an earthworm gym painting um and so i'll just paint it and give it to them it wasn't necessarily planned that i'm gonna give it to them but i will and this is gonna be like psychro like he's he's a top a vanquished psychro with his yellow spacesuit will be here and his legs sticking out um, and then the, my idea for the color scheme is basically the same as the one i've just showed you purple sky and then like some turquoise mountains and and ground um and i like i didn't sort of like painstakingly render the muscles and stuff um because i think this is just going to be sort of like lighting and shadow here and then i'll with paint render the muscles a little bit here but i like this sort of bold shape as opposed to intricate curves and bends and stuff um so that could be a really cool piece it could be <laughs> it might turn out shit but it probably won't because you know i'm really really good so why would anything come out shit ass face have you seen the show preacher it's all right have you read the comic book series it was based on it's one of the the frankly one of the best comic book series is of all time and it's also got covers by my all-time favorite artist uh glenn faber he hand painted the full run of covers for the entire comic book i've shown that book a bunch of times i've got a book with all of the covers in it. it's really really good anyway ass face i did this drawing because it was like a preliminary because i thought it'd be really funny to draw a flesh bob with an ass face like ass face uh, and it was sort of funny not the best thing ever not my greatest creation but it comes out all right i think if i give it a bit more time a bit more rendering i can sort of like do a really decent uh ass face flesh bob but even so it is a pretty funny funny little doodle in it funny little ass face flesh bob doodle and then just a bunch of graffiti because i was talking about graffiti and shit so this is that's the rest of the sketchbook now i think just tags and fucking pieces of throw ups some quite cool ones i was doing a bunch of e e1 e e o n e e1 e1 it's like my name e1 you and it's and then this is my old uh legal tag legal is l-e-g-a-l not illegal um neds n-e-d-s n-e-d-s um E1, E1, get it. I did a whole, there's a podcast episode, it's either on Patreon or the YouTube, go have a look. And that's your lot, you bunch of poo, poo poo boys, see, that's you, your name is Will Stinky Poo Poo Boys, and you're unacceptable! <laughs>